This is reflectivity, Z. This is uh, ZDR and rho HV, and there's the vortex signature. We have a concentric circle of high reflectivity and then spiral bands of high reflectivity. We have low values of ZDR and rho HV that cover this concentric circle, but high values, higher values of ZDR and rho HV that cover the spiral band. So from this we conclude that the concentric circle is composed of debris and the spiral bands are composed of rain and hail. And one of my graduate students right now is using fudgy logic to map out using polarimetric radar every type of hydromedia there is in the storm. Big hail, small hail, big raindrops, small raindrops. Really neat stuff. Okay. Yeah, this is the, that tornado. Also, we photogrammetrically measured the width of the debris cloud, and it happened to match the width of the polarimetric debris signature. So this stuff is good. So when the Weather Service uses polarimetric radar, they're going to have another tool to know there's a tornado out there. Not only will you look for the hook and the, tor and the vortex, but you're going to look for the debris. The W-band radar. We took the W-band radar and tried to answer the question, what does the wind field look like inside the whole volume of the tornado? So what you do is you scan up and down, you take RHIs, and let the tornado move across from left to right. So scan 1 over to scan 10. And I'm going to focus your attention on scan 6. Also, with the boresighted uh, video, we can tell what the wind field looks like in comparison to what it, what it looks like in real life. In other words, are the, are the highest wind speeds outside the condensation funnel or in it? The answer is going to be the highest wind speeds are outside the condensation funnel. When people say, oh, there's a tornado, I see a condensation funnel, uh, the highest wind speeds are not in the condensation funnel, they're outside the condensation funnel. And there are vertical cross-sections of reflectivity from scan <laughs> 1 through scan 10. There's the notch, there's the inside of the tornado, with a strange structure inside the tornado, it looks like a top, and it closes up right at the very, very, very bottom. And there are the Doppler velocities. I better hurry up here. I better hurry up. <laughs> this is a vertical cross section of Doppler velocity through the middle of the tornado. It's hollow in here, and it closes up within 10 meters. This is frictional. I want you to notice that we have yellow, purple, yellow, purple. These are horizontal vortices <laughs> along the edge of the tornado. Wow. And what I, what I skipped a minute ago was I showed you a, a numerical simulation, large eddy simulation that shows the same thing. And this is something I have no idea what it is. There's a jet of outflow coming out of the tornado, and it's very, very narrow, very shallow. I don't know what that is. That's amazing stuff. I don't know what it is. Yeah. Uh, very quickly, just focus your attention on number six, the green. Vertical variation of the winds in a tornado where the winds are the maximum along the core. They're greatest around a little below 50 meters above the ground. They drop off when you get to the ground, and they drop off above 100 meters. So I think at least for one tornado, we've answered the question, where are the, ma where are the maximum winds? They're not at the ground. They're elevated a little bit, which is what we expected. What else have we done? We've taken a digital infrared camera, which tells us something about temperature. And we tried to see what sort of temperature variations there were across tornadoes. This is something my graduate student, Robin Tanamachi, did. And um, I won't explain everything here, but we did some cross sections across the tornadoes. The punchline is there are very few, very little variation of temperature across a tornado. But as you might expect, the vertical variation at the edge of the funnel is just about moist adiabatic, just as we would expect to find. It's kind of neat. Okay, vortex two. Let's get on to last, last season. 